Hey there, everybody in the FFPE Global Facebook group, and hello to everybody who sees this video on YouTube as well. Welcome to this week's Ask an Old Mog video, where we go over questions and try and show answers in a visual way to try and help you learn more about the mechanics of the game and find a way that makes sense for you to play it and have some fun doing so along the way. Uh, this week, I don't have a particular question that was asked in the group that I wanted to talk about, but I did uh, finally come up with a way because of units that I've been able to pull with all the free stuff we've gotten this week to uh, demonstrate something that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. Uh, now, in a previous video that we talked about, uh, about uh, dealing damage and whether or not you want to have more killers or more attack, um, we, we talked a little bit about how modifiers are a big part of the damage formula, which you can find on the mechanics page. Um, I'll pop up a link for that in just a moment. Um, but we didn't really necessarily talk about what all those modifiers were. And what I thought might be really cool is if we could put together a team that was going to include lots and lots of modifiers, um, talk a little bit about what each one does, um, and then uh, show the effect of adding those modifiers to your um, to your team and doing some damage with it and, um, and have some fun with it. And like I said, because of all the units that we got with all the free stuff uh, yesterday, I've been able to put together a team that is all focused around one element um, using some, you know, relatively good recent stuff. And I'm pretty excited to play with it a little bit and show you what it can do. So that said, uh, let's get into it. So let's talk about this for a second. Um, you know, what are some ways to increase or maximize your damage? Uh, you know, what are the effects can I that I can stack together to do more damage? You might ask yourself, you know, why is this relevant? Um, in, in Dark Visions um, and Vision World events, of course, um, and also in Clash of Wills, there are score criteria um, that you have to do a certain amount of damage in order to get a perfect score. We also talk about, uh, we talk about referring, um, we call this capping, um, you know, capping out your damage and stuff like that, because usually there's an amount, as long as you hit that cap, then you get a perfect score. And so if understanding how to blend these effects that we're talking about is key to efficiently boosting your damage. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. There's a couple of things you want to focus on. One is boosting your stats, uh, both in battle and out of battle. So that comes to down to like gearing your units a certain way, making sure you've got high stats and then applying really good stat buffs in battle to make sure that you have the highest stats possible. Um, and then also uh, adding your modifiers and modifiers is something that is very, very important. Um, these are going to multiply your damage rather than simply adding to it. You know, boosting your stats adds to your damage because it's like the, the starting point of the damage formula, whereas each modifier that you add um, multiplies your damage, usually by a factor of four, which is pretty incredible. And generally, like generally speaking, 50% of any given modifier is worth more to your damage overall than 50% of your statistic. So for example, if you've got the choice between do I want to add 50% attack or 50% killer or 50% LB buff, almost always you want to go with the killer or the LB buff. Um, it depends on how you've got yourself geared and what your unit's good at, but almost always a modifier is going to be better because it multiplies rather than adds to your damage. We'll demonstrate that in just a moment. But you also want to use like your units in perils, amplifies, breaks, field effects. Um, all of this stuff, again, count as modifiers that boost up your maximum damage, which is really, really cool. And so to demonstrate that, we're going to look at a team here. Um, and we're going to use Knights of Grand Shell to do a little bit of damage. Um, now, uh, we're going to see if my, my damage kind of plays out on screen the way we want to. His is a stacking or theirs is a stacking limit burst. Um, and so you know, generally speaking on my tests, I've been doing about 6.2 billion on the first cast and 9.9 .9 on the second cast. We'll see if that plays out here. Here's the team we're taking though, um, just to kind of demonstrate that we're taking, uh, no, not this team, not that one, you goober, this team right here. So we've got, um, we've got Knights of Grand Shelt, of course, we've got White Dragon Ling, Fina the Return, Nyx and Reagan the Return. And you'll see why we have them all in just a minute, but let's get into this and, um, and and see what we've got going on. We're doing this, of course, in the Tower of Wind, which is, you know, where we can fight the training dummy and get some practice doing chaining and stuff like that. And we'll take a quick look here. Um, like I said, Knights of Grand Shield is a stacking limit burst, and it stacks in his uh, shift form. So we're going to take a look at that right now. Go ahead and shift up and use Mirror of Infinity, right? So it does this much damage and it damages boosts up to that one time so after you use it one time you're fully stacked and you're good to go up to that amount so there you are it's a light locked physical type attack based damage 
uh, limit burst, so you're basically doing light damage. It also does great sword in peril and uh, ele elemental resistance down for four turns. Pretty cool. Here's um, what his stats are looking like right now. He's sitting pretty on 7,600 attack. And let's see how his damage does. Okay. Go ahead and guard everybody so we can see our damage. Ooh, 7.9. So we rolled really nice variants on that one. That's pretty cool. And let's see how much we do on the second cast. We should be capping out at 9.9 .9 here. Yeah, we did. Okay. Right. So 9.9. .9. He, he's not doing any, we're not doing any chaining. We don't have any amplifies or anything like that. But you do see it took him two casts to get up to that full power and maximum damage in one hit um, in this setting. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and drop the party right now. And we're going to do some other stuff. So we, that's kind of where we're at. Um, took us two turns to get to 9.9 .9 billion. What happens if we add a light amplification, right? Uh, a light imperil to the enemy, which, uh, you know, honestly, his, uh, the limit burst does a light imperil. So we're going to do a bigger one, though. That buffs, LB damage buffs, Tyvus spirit, imperil fields, boost fields, gallant spirit, that's for Reagan, L LB stacking, and a human killer buff. All right, we're going to go, hopefully, we're going to do a lot more than 9.9 .9 billion. Now, this is going to take a few turns to do this, um, but we're going to see the full benefit. And I'll kind of talk through, you know, how we get to um that that maximum damage all right we're starting out in the base form of uh, knights of grand shelt because we don't want to do any stacking or anything just yet um but let's take a quick look here and we're going to start by doing um this uh we, we've got to we've got to get to the slbs to, to get the the maximum amount so the first thing we're going to do is i'm just going to do um a uh, a light uh, adding light here so we've got brilliant veil Okay, um, Nyx is just gonna guard. We, we got we're only doing one thing with Nyx, and it's not coming until later. Uh, Reagan's gonna guard. Grand Shelt's gonna guard. Ling's gonna guard. Okay, no damage yet. Um, let's see here. I'm honestly I'm just gonna guard everybody because I want to get their SLBs online. That's really what I'm getting to. So this is gonna take us just a second, but the SLBs are where it's really at. Here's where we're gonna go ahead and go. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, Knights of Grand Shield is going to shift and do the first stack. Okay. There we go. Fiend is going to cast Mega Flare. This is going to put up a light boosting field for everybody in the party. There we go. Boost light damage over here. And Nyx is going to do his shifted LB to put up a light imperil field on the enemy. We've talked about this before, using two different field effects to maximize your damage. Notice we got reduces light on this side, and um, it, it, uh, it reduces light resistance by 25 and boosts um, our damage by 30 on the other side. Pretty cool. Uh, Ling's still not going to do anything, and Reagan is not going to do anything either. Not this turn. There we go. Knights of Grand Shelt is going to use their Magnus ability. Pretty cool. Thank you. Fina's going to go ahead and reapply a Brilliant Veil this turn. Just to make sure that we've got um, the uh, light imbue. Nyx is just going to guard. Nyx is basically done. Reagan's going to guard. Well, do we have anything useful? Yeah, we'll go ahead and use his personal amp. You know, we'll, we'll go ahead and, well, we can do all that next turn. We'll do that next turn. We're just going to guard for now. There we go. And here's where we're going to be getting ready. So, Fiend is going to use her SLB as soon as she comes available. There we go. That's going to boost everybody's stats and LB damage, um, light amplification, um, and get everybody ready to go. Grand Shelt is going to use Tyvus Spirit. That's going to do a big LB damage buff and a modifier boost. Reagan is going to do the same thing for himself. Um, basically using his, his various Magnus abilities and uh, his Gallant Spirit, which is basically Tyvus Spirit for um, support break damage dealers. Okay, there we are. And these two are just going to guard. Okay. 
and here we are. We are ready to go. So um, Reagan is going to do his Super Limit Burst, which is a triple bolting strike chaining uh, with some damage and uh, does big light imperil. Fina is going to triple cast some bolting strike chaining uh, that is imbued with light. Grandshelt's going to uh, hit the final cap of his chain. And Ling is going to add us now. Finally, we're, we're at to it. Um, we're going to get some human killer buff here. Here we go. Human killer. Assassin stance. There we go. Uh, looks like we've lost the light imperil field. So I want to go ahead and put that back up as well. Yeah, we need that light imperil field. There we go. So. We did 9.9 .9 billion um, uh, last time. Let's see how we do with full chaining and all that other stuff we talked about adding. And here goes. Looks like our chain broke in there somewhere, but we did 60 billion damage, right? So we went from, you know, we went from 9.9 .9 to 60. That's pretty big, right? Just by adding all these relevant modifiers and, and everything like that. Um, and that's pretty big. Um, you, you are kind of limited by how much damage you can do with a single unit because of, um, because of the damage cap being 9.9, .9, right? But, you know, adding in all of that, especially in a setting where you are not limited by how much damage you do. So like dark visions, clash of wills, you're not limited, but adding all that together, it, it, you can just see it's a massive, massive difference. And it's not all coming from Fina and Reagan just chaining a little bit. It's coming from all this other stuff. Um, and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So you obviously can do a lot more damage by doing these modifiers. So be on the lookout for all those. Amplifies, Imperils, Stat Buffs, LB Damage Buffs, uh, Modifier Boost, so Taiva Spirit, Gallant Spirit, um, things like that. Um, you can also do like Dark Rain has his um, boosting abilities. Medina has similar boosting abilities. Vivi has boosting abilities. Um, modifier boosts from like, um, uh, who's the other one? Then the Neovision's Merolith, boosting fields, imperil fields, buffs, human killers, all this stuff. Okay, so all of this stuff kind of comes together to, to give you this massive big boost in damage. Um, and going from 9.9 .9 to 60, 60 billion, pretty solid, pretty solid. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the party right now though. And that's it for right this moment. So how do you do more damage? That's kind of how you do more damage. So you always want to be on the lookout for things like that. Support units, um, even if they're not good support units, you know, they can still help you do a lot. And, and sometimes it takes, you know, putting all these units together to kind of piece together that big burst of damage. And uh, doing so can sometimes make a really big difference in your clear. Um, that's what I got for right now. So if that's helpful to you, I want to know about it. You know, drop a comment below. Let me know both on Facebook or on, on YouTube, you know, did this make sense to you? Did it not make sense to you? Did I go too fast? Do I need to go back and do this again? Um, is there more you wish you could see? Um, what units do you like to put together? Is there is there another combination that I that I could have thrown together that would have made better sense? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Um, but uh, for now, that's what I got. And uh, we'll hopefully be looking forward to um, seeing you guys in some upcoming videos and getting some clash of will stuff done this weekend hopefully maybe if i can get myself together i've just been super busy with all the cool stuff we had going on this week um but that said be good to each other take care and we'll see you in the game and in the next video later